In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale. But still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's go. Season finale, Mushoku Tensei. This should better be peak. Better be peak, bro. All right, we're all coming home with the home record. That was sadness, not regret. We haven't regret anything yet. Sophie. Is, she, is he running to see if he can make it for the delivery of the baby right now? As if him running right now is going to be just on time to see the kid be born? Like, the kid. Rudy Jr. Okay. What do you think might have happened to Sylphie? You think Sylphie's fucking someone else? We, we walk in there and then what? Body guy is giving back shots to Sylphie right now? I don't think so. Okay. No, nothing. He's looking empty? Wait! What happened? Rudo? No resemblance of clothing, baggage, nothing. Are we regretting it? Oh, what's going on? Yo, where's everyone at? Why is it empty here? Yo, you're a yeah, hand. Yeah, about that. Sophie is... She's so pregnant! Okay! Long-haired Sophie! Interesting. Okay! She's still pregnant, so we made it for the baby. And she's actually going out to get firewood while being pregnant. God damn, Rudy. Do better. You're right. Norn is dead. Okay, no regrets then. We're good. We're good. So the regret thing still hasn't been, you know, resolved yet. So we should be cautious about this, right? The true turning point regret hasn't happened yet. I don't know. Maybe we're getting baited. And yeah, okay. So Roxy... <laughs> Oh, Roxy's like, yeah, ooh, ooh, this conversation. Alright, what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Is she gonna be mad? Is she gonna blame it on Rudy? You killed Dad! Mom is a vegetable! You cheated on Sophie! Is she gonna blame it on us? Oh, boy. Everyone's gathered. Uh oh. Yeah, it's mom, but. Where's dad? Can you make the connections? Oh, I hate hearing that, bro. He died protecting her family. Rest in peace, Paul. <sighs> but Norn. Oh. Prosthetic arm? His ashes? Maybe it's because Rudy was with him that he died. I don't fucking know. I don't know, man. Because, like, to her, Paul was, like, obviously dad, but she had no one else. Like, Rudy, even now, we just, like, resolved our shit. So, to her, losing Paul is, like, everything is gone, you know? Fuck you, Nard! You told me to go! I was gonna stay here and cheat on my wife with the cat girl and a dog girl, and you were like, did you get trip? You gonna go see me? I'm gonna go see Papa. You did this! You did this! No, you don't dare blame me! No, 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 you did this! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I 
thought she'd be way more upset. I thought she would like have a tantrum. That was actually way better than I thought Nora was gonna do. <laughs> I don't think we can heal it either, apparently. Divine healing ain't gonna do shit, yeah? He did. Okay! No one is actually being really reasonable. What do you think Mama's thinking? Like, of course, everyone in the room is very empathetic towards Norn, right? Grieving over the loss of a father. What, what do you think Zenith is thinking right now? Fuck, she's loud. The f ew, 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 loud. Oh, shut up, kid. That's, that's what Zenith is thinking, bro. The crying voice acting goes hard, though, huh? Do it! Become the sword god! The sword in your heart. Just like what Paul is doing. Wow. Sounding like the father. Sorry! Switching headsets. Alright. You know what? This is like... Pretty good development for Norn. I thought that she would be throwing a lot more tantrums and be unreasonable and blame everything on Rudy. And we might have like another fucking arc to like resolve that matter. But like, thank God that we're just kind of like, you know, dealing it, handling it like business. Now the swords though, like Norn is not a swordsman, is she? Have we seen her use any swordsmanship before? I can't remember, but like Norn inheriting Paul's sword and like becoming like an adventurer would be kind of cool, right? But I don't know if they're going to go that direction. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit too heavy for her right now. Oh, 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 oh. Does she remember? She does. Instinctively, there's something there. Because the Paul Zenith butt, she's not there, but she is there, you know? I don't know. People said it's impossible. Yeah, ab about the other little inconveniences. <clears throat> so, um, one bombshell has been dropped. Are you for you ready for number two? <laughs> you ready for phase two? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. Happy news, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, Aisha's always on business immediately. Wow, both sisters kind of like, you know, helping each other out there. That's kind of nice to see Nori and Aisha talk. Hey, you can, come on, you can cry too. You, you can be, you can be, you can act your age finally. Aww. Like if Nori didn't say that, she would have held it immediately, trying to be all professional, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay with us at least for tonight. Nah, nah, we're good. I definitely don't want to be here when you drop the bombshell that Roxy is also going to be living with Jessa. We're going to get the fuck out now. Give us the details later. Sure, sure. Thank <laughs> うん。お主に礼を言われる筋合いはない。言われるならパウロか。はいはい。らしくねえぜ。いつも通り。おい、シーリーとでも言ってくれよ。ですか。ジンクスだよ。グッドラック。ああ、はい。オタコどもはす
Like, the reason why she just said that at the very end is to be like, Oh boy. When the bombshell drops, you know, oh boy. Madonna, Good luck, bed. boss. Good luck. All right. Time for phase two. <laughs> yeah, why is she here? Who this bitch? Does she understand? Judging by her looks. And like, why is she staying? I think Sophie like, kind of like, made the connections in her head. It's like, you wouldn't. No, you... No. R n really? No. I... <laughs> okay, I'm listening. <laughs> Lily just takes it and thought, all right, we gonna get the fuck out of here for this one. Good luck. <clears throat> Norton and Lily... Aisha's still here. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Oh shit, there we go. Second one. And in my moment of weakness, my old tutor who grew me decided to fuck me. And now I feel so much better. And I love her. And I hope you will accept her as the second wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did, dude. He did, dude. He did. Oh, that's a fucked up thing, too, dude. He fucking did. Absolute state. I'm on Nord's side here, by the way. I think Nord is absolutely correct. Rudy <laughs> oh, no! She's spitting! She fucking spitting, dude! Oh, shit! You know, Paul did this shit too, and you love Paul, so don't be a hypocrite, you know? Like father, like son, but like, Nord's right. Yeah. Slap him, slap him. That's Roxy sacrificed her own feelings to save me when I hit rock bottom. Oh man. The mental gymnastics. Oh man. I, how are you pivoting this? The, it's like, no, 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 no. Roxy sacrificed her own feelings. What does it mean by sacrificing her own feelings? I think the interpretation is this. Roxy obviously loves Rudy. She knows that she can't be, you know, with Rudy because Rudy's married. But despite knowing that she decided to sacrifice her feelings, one night stand to make him feel better, with fully realization that after this, there could be nothing for me and I'm going to feel bad about it. That is the sacrifice that I think Rudy is talking about. But like, holy shit. Holy shit, dude. The mental gymnastics we're doing right now. Let's go. <laughs> she wasn't, though. <laughs> I do know and I'm grateful to you and I'm gonna fucking abandon you right now. Oh well, we're not, you know, following Midis though, right? We're not following Midis, are we? <laughs> Demons, you know, it's a bit different. Yeah, every, uh, yeah. Nor, Nor, Norn is probably like... <laughs> She can't be much older than I am. I mean, she, I mean, it makes sense, right? It makes total sense. Uh. Oh, shit, dude! Yo, Nord is popping the fuck off, dude! <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm fucking coughing on my own, <laughs> choking on my spit. Listen, I love Roxy. I love Roxy? I, I, I kind of hate Norn. I used to hate Norn, and then, then things got resolved. Right now, I can uh, definitely respect what Norn's doing. I think that Norn calling everyone out is, like, perfectly reasonable. And, like, I am... It's weird how I'm just, like... 
I don't know. I just enjoy the drama. So like Norton popping off right now was fucking peak content. What do you got to say? Any retort? Alright! <laughs> Dude! Nori goes off for like 10 minutes just roasting? You're right, I've been shameless, goodbye. Easy. E the fastest counter I've ever fucking seen. She, you know, like, wrote a whole fucking essay. Roxy was like, that's crazy. I ain't reading all that. Sorry, though. <gasps> Wait, is that what she said? I thought she was going to be happy to be Sylphie will now step up and be the bigger woman here and be like, you know what? It's fine. It is what it is. Let's move on. Sylphie. <laughs> Milfy. Milfy. The only one that can resolve this right now. Is she about to help Roxy or is she about to fucking walk up to Roxy and just fucking smack her and be like, you fuck my man. Get the fuck out of my house. So I can slap that bitch out before I send her packing. Okay. I had ulterior motives. <laughs> I had ulterior motives. This is amazing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Sophie was like, yeah, this piece of shit's probably gonna cheat on me one of these days. It's, yeah, it happened. Yeah, it is what it is. I, I knew it was gonna happen. Milfi is being so mature right now. Yeah, did you know that he also has a shrine where you have your panties there? You can go change to this fresh pair if you want. Okay. The two wives are kinda making peace here. Okay. So because Sophie was anticipating Rudy would cheat, because Rudy speaks so highly of Roxy, and because Roxy just seems like an ordinary girl that's smitten in love with Rudy, just like how Sophie was, she's fine with it. Huh. Huh. She's putting up no fight at all. If this was Eris, if Eris was number one wife, and then we brought a second one home, I think that heads would be chopped up right now. Which is very interesting because Eris will probably be going to show up later on as a third wife. Are we going to have this similar conversation again? I don't know. I don't know, but hey, welcome to the family, Roxy. <laughs> and Rudy gets bailed out. Rudy honestly does not deserve Sophie. Am I right or am I right, bro? Like, I think that like Sophie is too goddamn good, bro. Like, nah, like Rudy, this motherfucker is so lucky, dude. This motherfucker is so lucky to have a girl like her. Sophie deserves better, man. No training. <laughs> so she's gonna release her stress by sword training. This is actually pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, what if? Okay, I think that Norm will be pretty appreciative of Eris joining. Because Eris and Norm, what if they like train together, bro? What if Norm gets trained by Eris or some shit? And, and then it's like, wait, you're the fucking third wife? リリアさんにもそう言うの。I just feel all the insults were kind of direct insults at I should I didn't even think about that. True. 
あと1ヶ月ちょっとかな。Over a month, okay. And I guess their name is not going to be Rudy's Jr. Because now we're back in time, right? And everything is going to be fine, right? Like, surely they're not going to do something fucked up like, you know, like, uh, what's it called? Like a miscarriage or something bad happening where the baby gets born, but then Sophie dies or something, right? Like, they would... That's, that's like, what, turning point four? <laughs> They're setting something up here. No marriage, no official ceremony until the baby is delivered. I feel that this baby might be a ticking time bomb, man. I don't feel good about this. Akachan, baby! And... Got a little bit more. Oh, the baby's delivered? Oh, my God, everything's good! Everything's good! Delivering baby, delivering baby. I thought that the baby shit would be like season three stuff, but like they immediately did it. All right, that's the baby's name. Baby name? That's kind of fucked up. But you know, green hair is kind of bad here. She's your baby. Name? What's the name? What would you like? What would you like to name your kid, Rudy? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna name her Eris. Yeah. Something about that name is great. Yeah, Eris. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got elf ears too. Cool. <laughs> Three candles. Foreshadowing. Three candles. Three wives. Uh, Paul's tomb? Pour one out for dad. Yeah,俺父親になったよ。シルフィーの子供だし、きっと美人になるよ。父さんにも見せたかったな。子供は生まれたよ。いや、you ルーシーグレイだと。オッケー。俺とシルフィーの頭文字を取ったんだ。ライクソフィー、ルー、ルー、ビー、ルーシー。オッケー。ひとりよ。妻が2人。ひとりよ。妻が2人。妻が2人。
It's a plant growing out of the plastic bottle that we obviously, you know, uh, tell up summon. But did she also? This, is this confirmation that she also summoned the flower? Because she was trying to do inorganic, then organic something, right? Is is this direct proof, or is she just growing a flower here? I don't know. Body Gotti and Ruizard. They're traveling. To wow, I thought they were holding grudges, and it's like next next time I see what's on site, but they're like they're friends now. This is great. Oh! What's she doing? Where, where are you? Where I I? If you look at the terrain, wherever Ruizard and Body Gotti is, it seems a bit familiar. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's the night sky. The terrain is really all you see is the mountainsides here. But like, there's Ares, man. There's Ares. The hair is all back. The hair is all back. Where's Ghislaine? Lucy. So you can die anytime. Isn't that the hugest death flag ever? Look at her family, guys. All right, but there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more, right? Job reincarnation. Thank you for watching. There's Paul and Rudy. Is there a little bit more after? That too is gonna spread and go to three, right? Season three announcement. <laughs> Nice. There it is! And ladies and gentlemen, that is Mushoku Tensei Season 2 and they, we're not done yet, we're not done yet. We're gonna do the opening reaction after this outro, okay? We're gonna do the opening reaction, but damn, that is part two and like Season 3 is already confirmed. Who knows when it's in production, but I do know that the light novel is pretty much already finished, so they're gonna obviously complete the anime, right? Man, the revelation of us bringing another wife in, it's like, ooh, ooh, how is this gonna happen, right? How is this gonna work? And... While it was very obvious that Norn would be against it, and I think that Norn deserved popping off. I feel like Norn's low tier god moment was actually peak content. But Sophie, being the bigger woman, literally and metaphorically kind of dissolved it all. And I already told you guys about the justification. She's just an ordinary girl. I would have done the same thing. Uh, Rudy's a fucking degenerate. I was expecting that to happen. So, pretty... It's pretty uh, reasonable, round-headed way of just like, settling everything. So now, we have a girl. Her name is Lucy. She got, you know, a little bit of elves ears and adopted, you know, Rudy's hair color. Father's dead, unfortunately. And then, of course, we have Eris at the end scene, bro. Eris, she's been training all this time. I hope to God she's strong enough to, you know, at least, you know, compete with Orsted on a better level than last time. Because that's what the whole point of the journey was. But who knows when we're going to see her? Probably next season. Mushoku Tensei has been airing for 24 episodes now, right? This is two cores, so I will give a rating for this core only. What do you guys think overall? So let's think about it. From the beginning, we were kind of just like getting back into things. You know, Sophie is our wife. We got a house. The beginning was a little bit slow. Then there was Norn stuff. Then 20.3 happened. Then everything is history. I would be comfortable giving this show a minimum of... Probably 8, right? Minimum 8 out of 10, right? I don't think this is a minimum 7.5. I think this is better than 7.5. This is minimum 8 out of 10 and can be scaled higher. I don't think it's obviously not a 10 out of 10. Being a 10 out of 10 is like an impossible thing. But somewhere like an 8.5 maybe? Minimum 8. I'd be happy with that. Anyways, that's it from me. I will see you guys in Season 3. Until then, take care.